Hey, my name's Daniel. I'm one of the pastors here at Horizon Church. Uh, and you're watching this because you've kind of taken the step and said, hey, I'd love to learn how to get more out of my devotional life, my time with Jesus in prayer, in Bible reading, in journaling. And we're so excited that you're here. I'm really uh, thankful that you take the time to watch this. Um, and before we kind of get into what we're going to be calling SMORP, it's an acronym for how to kind of journal out your prayer time with Jesus and your devotional time, uh, I want to look at just maybe some of the roadblocks that uh, through the last decade of working with people and how to read their Bible, get more out of it, uh, that I find is pretty common. You know, they say in any uh, relationship, whether it be with your parents, with your friends, with your spouse, with business partners, whatever, uh, the first step to a deteriorating relationship is normally a breakdown of communication. Uh, and actually the first step to return to a healthy relationship is also communication. Uh, when it comes to prayer, when it comes to reading our Bible, when it comes to journaling, the goal is that we would communicate, two-way communication with Jesus. Uh, but I want to look at come some of the, like I said, three roadblocks that uh, normally stop people in their communication or can cause them to stall out or, or just to stop uh, devotional time. Uh, number one is we look at our time with Jesus as transactional versus relational. What that means is if I pray, then God will. If I read my Bible, then I'm seen as better. God will accept me. I feel better about myself. Uh, that we put in the time, it's a list of duties that we do to hopefully get something in return. When it comes to our time of prayer, when it comes to our devotional time of Bible reading, of uh, meditating on his word, of journaling it out, I wanna remind you that this purpose is to build a relationship with Jesus who loves you. It's not to do a list of things to gain something from him or to gain position or acceptance. Acceptance was gained through the cross and his work on the cross that's given to us in this new relationship. So as you read your Bible, remember, it's a relationship with a real person who wants to talk to you. And so that kind of sets the tone for our time with Jesus. Number two, uh, informational versus transformational. The reality is if you've been in church for any period of time, you know more about Jesus then you obey to Jesus. We, the, the saying is we're educated far beyond our obedience. As we read the Bible, the purpose is not just to gain information. We're not studying a subject. We're building a relationship with someone. And that reading of God's word is meant to transform us. Prayer is meant to transform the way we think, the way we act. The reading of God's word and living in accordance to it is meant to transform your whole life. It's spiritual formation, taking the way we were before Jesus and shaping and forming us into the image of Jesus. That's the whole point. And normally the step between information and transformation is obedient application. So that's part of what this acronym is going to help us with. The number three is perfection versus progression or progress. I think for the type A's in the group, we want every single time we pray, every single time we open our Bible, it to be like, oh, like Mount Zion moment, God speaking, it's incredible. Sorry to break it to you. There's gonna be moments where you open your Bible and you're gonna feel like that was just, I'm not sure what that was. Nothing really stood out to me. I wanna let you know that's okay. Again, the purpose is not to study a subject. It's to build relationship with a person. And there's gonna be times where it feels like, oh, I'm not really sure, where then you can journal, Lord, what are you trying to say through that? But it's not for it to be perfect every time. Let go of that. It's gonna take some time. It's a practice spending time with Jesus. So again, it's, it's relational, not transactional. It's the purpose is to bring transformation, not just information. And it's a progress, a journey that we are on as we learn to follow Jesus with our time of prayer, time of Bible reading, of meditation, and being with the Lord. So I wanna go through our acronym. One of the ways that's really helpful to get more out of your time with Jesus is kind of journaling prayer with your Bible. So what that looks like is get a Bible reading plan. Read it with someone, decide what you're gonna read. Uh, those who fail to plan normally plan to fail. Uh, and so I wanna encourage you, go to uh, the YouVersion Bible app, whatever it is, get a Bible reading plan. So you open it up that day, uh, have a journal and have your Bible next to you and you'll read whether it's a chapter, or a certain passage. And then for S, the, the acronym of SMORP versus S is scripture. Whatever scripture stands out to you, whether it's a verse or two verses or a part of a verse, take the time to write your S and then write out that scripture. Studies say we remember so much more when we actually write it out versus just reading it. So first, it's just writing out the passage that stood out to you. Second, it's M. S-M is message. 
and I want to, this isn't what you think God is saying. Again, his word is a message to us and you're reading it with him, with the Holy Spirit. Stop and say, Holy Spirit, write it up. Holy Spirit, what are you trying to say to me today? And take a couple minutes and just listen. We're in no hurry in these moments. Again, the point is building relationship with Jesus, not just building information about him. And so when the verse stood out to you, say, Holy Spirit, why did this first stand out to me? What are you trying to say to me today? And wait. And then maybe say, I've noticed this about the verse. God, is, is this true? God, what, what are you trying to say to me? And just take some time to write out what your questions are, to listen, write out what you feel God's saying, back and forth. We go through this in hearing God. If you haven't taken it yet, uh, email info at horizonchurch.ca. We'll let you know when the next Hearing God course is. It'll change your prayer life with Jesus, I promise. Uh, next, you got S, scripture, M, message. O is obedience. Again, this isn't just to know good things about Jesus. When you're reading the word of God, there is always a step of obedience that we need to take to align our life to, word, to the word of Jesus and the Bible rather than the world around us. So before you say, oh, that's what I think I need to do, blah, 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 hold on. Say, Jesus, what would you have my step of obedience be? Or what does obedience to this scripture look like for me today? And wait. And watch the Lord begin to show you things you didn't see or steps that maybe you wouldn't have thought of to obey the passage. Again, we don't want to just be hearers of the word. We want to be doers of the word. And so R is repentance. And we don't really like this, but I want to let you know repentance is the grace gift of the cross that we can understand that we don't live according to the word of God always in his will. But we can come to him through Jesus and say, God, I messed up. This is, I confess my sin. Lord, would you forgive me? And we can walk free of that. As you get to the step, say, Lord, what, is, what would you have me repent of? Because sometimes we can read a scripture and be unaware that we're actually living in disobedience to a passage or a part of it. Say, Lord, point out where I'm not living in alignment to this. And whatever he points out, say, God, I repent of that. That's sin. Forgive me. Or would you help me live in accordance to your word? Give me the strength. Holy Spirit, would you empower me to live this out and not the way of my flesh or the world? Simply write that out, your step of repentance. And lastly, is prayer. And if I'm honest, this is the one I'm most tempted to skip. So I'm like, oh God, thanks so much, we're done. You've been talking to God the whole time, so you can skip it, but I wanna encourage you. This is your time. Like you said, it's a relationship. We've been doing a lot of listening in scripture, message, obedience, repentance. Time of prayer is your time to express your heart to the Lord. Sometimes we don't think he wants to hear that, but I want to encourage you, he does. So take some time and journal it out. You're not in a hurry. So this is what I'm feeling. Thank you so much for speaking to me. God, I know my friends struggle with this right now. I, my, my, Lord, would you help me with my marriage? Or God, with my kids? Or so-and-so has cancer. God, would you, would you be with them? Take well, whatever it is. He cares. He wants to hear it out. And so I want to encourage you as you make time for a devotional life, to spend time with Jesus in prayer, in Bible reading, in meditation, in journaling. Uh, again, it's not gonna come easy right away. There might be at the beginning, it's gonna be great, then you might go through a bit of struggle. I want you to encourage you to keep at it. We're not looking for perfection, we're looking for progress. We're not just looking for information, we're expecting Holy Spirit to bring transformation. And this isn't transactional, it's about building a relationship. We love you guys so much, and hope this serves you in your time with Jesus.